Taliban to Afghan Christians, we know who you are and we're coming for you. These are the signs of the times that we're living in and Jesus has warned us thousands of years ago. And to be honest, living in North America as a Christian, sometimes I feel ashamed by looking at news like that. And there are times where I just feel like, oh, well, this is something that happens all the time. But have we thought about whether if we are in their shoes, in their location, will we have the same passive attitude? Listen to this. The Taliban has a hit list of known Christians they are targeting to pursue and kill. The Taliban are going door to door, taking women and children. The people must mark their house with an X if they have a girl over 12 years old so that the Taliban can take them. If they find a young girl and the house was not marked, they will execute the entire family. If a married woman, 25 years or older, has been found, the Taliban promptly kill her husband, do whatever they want to her, and then sell her as a sex slave. Husbands and fathers have given their wives and daughters guns and told them that when the Taliban come, they can choose to kill them or kill themselves. It is their choice. This is what is happening today around the world. And this is just one of the things that happen around the world. Can you imagine God's heart? Let's not skip this. Let's not be passive about this. Just like any other video. Let's pray for them. Pray for those fleeing to the hills to be protected in Jesus name. I agree with that. Pray for miraculous protection for women and children being forcibly taken. And those that have already been taken for the protection, salvation, deliverance. I pray God that no one will commit suicide before they come to know you. Give them a chance to know you that they will not die in their sins, God. God, we pray for the Afghan church, for their identity in Christ, for them to walk in unity with the power of the Holy Spirit, encourage their faith, use us to help them in any way we can. If you can't financially give to organizations that help the Afghan church, I'm going to play a video of one of the underground church leaders in Afghanistan. And let's watch this, not just with a passive attitude, but in the in, in spirit of prayer for the body of Christ. Because the Bible talks about that if, if one part of the body suffers, the whole body suffers. And pray for them during this difficult time. Thank you.